What is up? Welcome back, all you Fit Cult members out here. We're gonna be talking about a workout from our Summer Sizzle program. Now, the Summer Sizzle, we have in the gym, at home, or garage workouts, which is like a minimal equipment. But today, we're doing a core and arms day from the Summer Sizzle. Basically, we're gonna do a, the core is gonna be almost like a warm up. We're really gonna focus on athletic type movements, functionality for the core before hitting arms and then doing conditioning. So this is gonna be one of, I don't wanna say necessarily lower intensity, but we're not gonna be stimulating the nervous system as we would like on a leg day. So it's kind of more of get the core work done, open up flexibility type stuff, some functionality, and then smash out arms. You know, arms aren't a big deal. You just hit, hit some arms, it'll be a great little pump and then do some conditioning in there. So you guys can check out more from our Summer Sizzle. You can sign up for it right now at fitnessculture.com, so check that out. We're gonna jump into this today. When we do core, we really wanna focus on not just looking good, but moving properly. You know, everything that we do starts with having a good core. Whether you're an athlete out there or just wanting to stay healthy in the gym, you need to have a strong functional core. So that's what we're gonna be warming up with today, really working out all the different areas of our core. First thing we're gonna be doing, kneeling, med ball toss. This is really working on rotational strength. And as you catch the ball, you're gonna have to work on decelerating. So a lot of core muscles are gonna be involved in here. Obviously obliques, serratuses, transverse abs. Jake's gonna demonstrate as I catch it, toss it back. There we go. We will focus so much on one plane of movement. We start focusing on rotation. That's where life happens. You know, how many times do people hurt their back or you know, hurt as they're twisting? We do so much here, so much here and here, but we don't really focus too much on this plane of motion. So this is a good exercise to do that. <sighs> Next up, we're gonna be doing a uneven bar walking lunge. So this is overhead here. Jake's gonna be really focusing on making sure it's anti-rotation. So when we do a plank, we're really working transverse abs here. Same thing here, uneven bar as Jake lunges. That bar is causing an unstable environment. Just making sure he has to overcorrect by using his core to do so. To make sure that bar stays even, he's using his those transverse abs just like we would in a plank. Another thing, it's a great act of recovery doing these types of exercises. Again, it's a core day, but the way we're moving in all of this, we're using full body. Obviously our shoulders in this overhead position, we're lunging, our lower backs can come into play, glutes, quads, even hamstrings. So we're not loading up the weight here. We're not seeing how much weight we could do. Again, we're focusing on keeping our abs tight, providing this unstable environment. And then again, overall great functional movements on an active recovery day to get you feeling better for your next workout in the gym. The reason that we set it down and pick it up is because if you notice, we're walking this way, that weight is in our right hand. So we actually need to set it down rather than just turn around you gotta set the weight down, so now that weight's in my left hand. It's gonna feel a little different. It just opens up everything right there. Next up, toes to bar. Toes to bar is probably one of my favorite ab exercises so on this obviously we're going to be working hip flexors we're going to be working that lower abs we kind of transition into that upper portion it's going to be a little bit more upper ab one of the best overall ab exercises 
I can put the chalk on, man. Got a chalk up for to toast the bar. He's gonna be strict toast the bar too, so everything nice and controlled. We can move really quick, do a CrossFit toast the bar, which is just really getting through it all. When you slow it down, and CrossFitters do do strict toast the bar, but when you slow it down, you really focus my muscle connection on what we're trying to do right here, rather than just focusing on the outcome, which could be reps. We're focusing on quality work here. That's round one of the circuit complete. We're gonna go through it again two more times. Again, the reason we call this active recovery, even hanging there, we're working to lengthen a lot of different muscles. All right guys, next thing we got, one of my favorite movements. Like Steve was saying, a lot of uh, core stuff that we do, it's also gonna work on transferring force through our lower body, through our core, into an implement. Today it's gonna be throwing a ball now. So we're gonna be doing a lateral jump, and then we're gonna explode, throw the ball into the wall, and really focus on using that hip exploding at the hip and transferring that force into our hand to throw the ball into the wall. So the reason the hips are so important, if you're an athlete or if you're training to be more athletic, so much of your power in a golf swing, in a baseball swing, in a punch if you're in MMA, even football, tackling, everything starts with the hips. So if you don't have good hips and explosion and mobility through your thoracic spine, you're gonna be struggling. So it's just about creating more torque, creating more of an explosion in anything you do is gonna improve your athletic ability. Left hand, it gets a little bit, uh, a little bit sketchy. He was saying earlier, we do a lot of active recovery stuff on these days. So it's gonna be an explosive push up, get up a little blood flow through our chest, and then we're gonna push up onto a box, extend ourselves. So we're in a pretty hard position here in an extended plank. So you wanna make sure that you're keeping your core nice and tight. When you land, you're not here. When you land, you're here. All right, so you're gonna be you get to pausing for a one to two count on the top of the box. Challenge your core, drop back down to an explosive push-up, right back into it. So the weak link in this is gonna be your lower back. As you explode, you catch yourself. If you think about it, you're in a straight line here. Your feet are touching, your arms are touching. Where's gonna to be the weakest point? Right in the middle of that lower back. So do not let that sag. Jake mentioned that. That's the most important part here. We really wanna protect that lumbar spine area. Big group of athletes is to basically on your cadence they'll go so you can really torture them it's it's fun that way so you could go every time you say hit they got to drop off the box so if you're stuck out here hit it's holding for five seconds hit 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 hold them again so they don't really know what's coming it's a reaction drill plus you can get them in a plank for a longer duration and it's kind of fun you can really challenge them so if you got a workout partner this next round have them come in and call out that cadence. It's fun to change up the training. If you just keep on doing the same thing over and over again, doing things like this is gonna refresh kind of the joy in training. I love training for athletics because it takes the focus off of just looks and puts it on performance. And when you do that, looks tend to take care of themselves. 
you see all of the world's top athletes. Yes, they're genetically gifted, but they train extremely hard and their physiques are some of the best on the planet. The third thing in this circuit is a banded GHD. What this is gonna do is it's gonna add resistance at the top of the movement. As you come to the top of the movement and your inflection, a lot less resistance than when you're in extension. So by adding this band in there, we're constantly under tension. make that one even harder slow it back down on the way down that band's gonna want to pull you you have to resist on the way back down all right guys hopefully you guys enjoyed that part of our workout it's also arms but we're just showing the core today you guys can head over to fitnessculture.com and check out all of the summer sizzle programs again this is a eight week challenge that we're gonna be picking transformation winners on it, but really it's more about community, it's about banding together and supporting one another in their fitness goals. With everything with COVID happening, a lot of people are just getting back into the gym. So this support group, being in the Facebook group, supporting one another is gonna go a long way and seeing people really transform back to where they were before COVID happened. So this workout again, unlike probably a lot of the other ab workouts you've done, we're really focusing on functionality, being explosive and really at the end of the day an active recovery really again we, we did some push-ups we did some overhead stuff obviously the lunges so it's full body but we're about to go hit some arms make sure you guys like and subscribe as always we appreciate you guys' support <laughs>